السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel I have this portable DC 18 volt drill machine it is not working the problem the battery is discharged problem why it is not being charged because the charger is damaged let's check it this charger number it is DW9116 it is 7.2 volt to 18 volt charger it is 110 volt charger when we use it we must take care for the voltage source someone connected this charger to the 220 inlet so that is the reason now I am connecting to 115 socket it have no power on no indication let's open it because it was connected to 220 volt the most probable cause that may be its fuse or maybe the DC rail DC circuit may be da damaged or might be the voltage charging section is damaged it have five screws here one here two three four five let's open it it need hexagon screwdriver like this or you can use a simple small size flat blade screwdriver but it should fit in the screw if it is fit in the screw head then you can open it I am using this flat screwdriver blade just place it here rotate it here it should fit and you can use this one otherwise use proper tool for a good result and preventing the screw head from damaging these are the four and the fifth screw that is here if you see the charger here is input circuit fuse so fuse is here the first point we have to check that is the fuse then we will continue further Set multimeter to continuity. Connect across the fuse. The fuse is open. This is the most probable cause for any mishappening. And now, before connecting the fuse, we need some special care. We need to check the bridge circuit and we want to test this capacitor as well. If we check this capacitor, its top surface is slightly raised up. So this capacitor is heat up now. It is not a flat. It is. It has swelling here. So we want to replace this one. Or we can check it. If we have ESR meter, then we can test it easily. Now we want to check the bridge circuit. When we apply more voltage than the rated value then most of the time the problem capacitor bridge circuit and the fuse these might be damaged or after that buck regulator might be this IC will damage but that is the secondary option first we have to verify up to input terminal set multimeter to DC voltage and check voltage on this capacitor if there are some voltage discharge it properly so it does not have any voltage now move to test diode now this is capacitor negative terminal it is for safety otherwise if we replace fuse directly might be bridge circuit our capacitor it have short circuit malfunction it may damage again or maybe it can make a big disaster 
place red lead to the negative terminal of the capacitor negative terminal of the capacitor that is here connect to one input terminal it is giving one diode second terminal one diode reverse the leads here at the same point black lead to the negative terminal of the capacitor first it was red now we need black so it is open it is open that means two diodes in the negative side that are okay now connect black lead to the positive terminal of this capacitor so here is the positive terminal connect at input AC terminal after fuse because fuse is open now we want to check the inner circuit this is input terminal here here it is giving one diode one diode and this is open now because the fuse is open from this point now swap the leads red lead to the positive terminal of the capacitor it's open it is open that means in this condition our bridge rectifier and this capacitor side that is working good it means that the bridge rectifier and other components are okay set multimeter to resistance and connect after the fuse it is giving 364 kilo ohm that means the circuit is safe 400 kilo ohms that's good so for test purpose we will connect a jumper fuse fuse wire bus fuse wire and then we will connect the original fuse it is one ampere fuse wire bus fuse if there is anything wrong it will open the circuit immediately for safety purpose we must check the capacitor so that it will not damage again might be this time it will work but if the capacitor is now leak or heat up or it have swelling might be it will not work for a long time Now we connected the jumper across the fuse at this point. At this point we connected the jumper. So fuse is giving continuity now. That's good. Let's connect input power and then we will check. Wow. The LED is on and now we can connect this battery pack. So it started charging. That means the other circuit is good. This jumper fuse started working so that means we need a fuse so we need a fuse 2 ampere to 250 volt 2 ampere 250 volt and we will check the physical it is T2A 250 2 ampere 250 now I will arrange this fuse and I will install it Friends, I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.